Hello, my friends, and welcome to Monday afternoon. It's drunk pokeroo time. Beer time. So you guys know we went to Cowbell last month. Um, we had a great time. I highly, again, highly recommend you make that trip to Cowbell. Um, one of the reasons I was so excited, and I, I talked about the beer, uh, we tried it there, was Doc Produce Boxing Brewing, 6.3%. 50 IBU IPA. Now, Cowbell has three releases in the LCBO. On Monday, December 4th, this will become their fourth release. I am super excited about this. I love this beer at the brewery. I think they had three pints. They also had a, a strong Belgian beer, which I drank too. I want to go back to Cowbell. It was seriously really good, man. So, suffice it to say, I was very, very excited to see this arrive at my door. Thank you to the good folks at Cowbell for sending it to me. Um, a privilege and an honor to get beer in the mail from anyone from the brewery. I, I, I it, it's cool, man. It's cool and it's humbling and, um, yeah, it's, it's awesome, man. It, 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 I feel really lucky and I am very appreciative of anything I ever get because, you know, I never ask for shit because I don't believe in that. I don't believe in I'm asking for beer, man. Pay for your beer. I have no problem paying for beer because, man, I just want to support great beer. This is a great beer. So... My conundrum comes, do I drink it out of my cowboy glass or my Spiegeloo? Either glass is good. I mean, they both have very good heads. But you know what? As much as I love my Spiegeloo glass and my, my, my cowboy glass, I should have bought a friggin' snifter when I was there. Why I didn't? I don't know. I just I got too excited about things. So I want to give Boxing Brewing the full effect. I want to get into the Spiegeloo. I'm very excited. You know I will be buying this. It'll probably find its way into my advent calendar now that it's an LCBO release. Um, they made this with some candied sugar too, which gives it a bit of like the Belgian sugar. It gives it a nice feel. Um, oh my God. I can, like the aroma already. Like it's just, etc. So thank you, Cowbell. I am excited. You should be excited because when this hits the LCBO, I think you're going to see much like what happened with Bose when they released their IPA earlier this year. I think this takes Cowbell up in a lot of people's eyes. Cause let's face it, man, for the most part, Craft beer drinkers are hop heads. We're looking for that hop high. That's why we, you know, the Bellwoods and the Great Lakes and everything. So this is Cowbell's, you know, sort of statement. We're here, man. We're here. Check it out. So let's get into it. Big, big citrus, tropical citrus notes, grapefruit, pineapple, orange. Time to drink a beer. Cheers. Just like I remember it. Ha, boom! Um, no, seriously. It's a beautiful beer. It's got a lovely toasted malt body. Like, it's got that kind of smooth, creamy texture to it. But then it is a big, lot of tropical notes. Grapefruit, pine, some mango in there, pineapple. But the back end is dry, piney, resin, beautiful. Boom! Doc Perdue's. Boxing Bruin. Uh, in your LCBO on Monday, be very excited. I'm very excited. I have another one. I might save it though, because that's a big beer, man. That's uh, that's six point three percent. That's uh, not a that's not a you know crusher. It's it's a slow sipper. So I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of this. You enjoy the rest of your Monday, but you know it's a week away. Get excited. Get excited because it's another IPA and it's a beautiful IPA and that that uh, that makes all the difference in the world, my friends. Cheers to cowbell I, I appreciate it guys and you know we'll be back before long because i got friends and family that, that just are dying to come visit and I, i'm more than happy to go with them cheers as always more cowbell more cowbell indeed